Hello. Uh, thank you very much for the videos for Canon and almost Canon, sorry, and the Shepherd's Melody. Sounding really, really good. Um, there's a few, a few little tips I can give you just to kind of elevate them to to, to the next level. Um, so we'll start with uh, almost a Canon. Um, so what have I got in my notes here? On it, so my feedback kind of there's two things really. One is just a slight little kind of technical thing that we need to fix, which which should be pretty easy to fix, which we'll deal with first. And then all the other stuff is really tied in, tied into the dynamics, which, um, sort of making the dynamics kind of come through. So I'll, I'll we'll talk about that second, and I'll give you some suggestions as to how best to practice that. The bit I'm talking about in terms of the, the sort of technical aspect though, it's uh, you're playing all the right notes at, at the right time. There's no problem with the rhythm, no problem with the, the, the notes themselves or anything. Um, it's just the tempo at the end of line two. So when you go to this section, you sped up quite considerably in the video. So easiest way to fix that bit of metronome practice. Um, and you don't necessarily need to go from the beginning. Um, and you know my you know my thoughts on going from the beginning. I think it's 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 a ba it's a bad idea to always practice something from the beginning because it just means that if you make a mistake, you'll 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 kind of instinctively go back to the beginning, and that's not what you want to do in a performance. Um, so maybe go from I don't know. Uh, let's go from where it says P. So if you can go from there now, now uh, it says one hundred and forty two. I think you're probably playing it at about that tempo anyway, so let's try it with the metronome at 142 beats per minute. But you, do, you, know, you don't need to practice it that fast. I mean, when, you, when you're trying to get something to not speed up or not slow down, it doesn't matter what metronome speed you pick. Um, so let's take that down to half of 142, 71. Um, which just makes it easier to practice. Two, three. So this bit's quite, those notes are quite a bit slower than you think, because there are no quavers there, you see. Um, and also notice at the end of bar eight, the left hand D is staccato. So when you play that F sharp with the right hand, the left hand wants to come um, so yeah, just a bit of metronome practice. Doesn't matter what speed you practice at because it's about getting them at the same speed. It doesn't matter whether that's the same speed slow, the same speed medium, the same speed fast. Once you get that bit flowing at the same speed, problem solved. Everything else I want to say about this one is to, is concerning dynamics. Um, oh, just one. Actually, no. I, I tell like one other tiny suggestion. This is just a personal kind of preference sort of tweak on that first line. I think it just adds a lot more kind of liveliness if you get those staccatos, just that little bit more staccato. You, you certainly don't want them accented because they're on weak beats, they're on beats two and beats four of, of the bar. But just really, really kind of, you know, like they're little pixies kind of jumping on the spot. staccato in them there's no doubt about it but I think if you could just be a little bit more staccato then that'd be even better um, so dynamics it was the dynamics largely that were missing from this I couldn't really tell you were getting quieter at the end of bar six I couldn't really hear the crescendo on line three I couldn't really hear that you dropped to quiet at the end of bar 15 so kind of tying it in with what I suggested earlier about not always practicing it from the beginning what I would suggest you do is practice this from one dynamic section to another dynamic section. By which, so let me give you an example of what I mean by that. Let's say we're going to practice going from the F at the beginning of the piece to the P on the second line. We play from the beginning in this case, make you know, but kind of having it in our mind that right when we get to that P, we're suddenly going to drop to quiet, and then you can stop after the P. So and that's plenty. You don't you know that's plenty to sort of practice. So do that a few times just so that you because by doing it that way, you're only giving yourself one thing to worry about, one thing to focus on um, rather than thinking, right, let's fix all the dynamics in one go. 
Uh, so, you know, maybe do that in one practice session. Then next time, and I, you know, I know you won't like this because this involves starting partway through a piece, but next time, start at that P bit in bar six, and let's go up to where it goes back to F at the end of bar 14. stop there and just do that bit a few times then next time you practice it's only one more to do we'll go from that forte section to the piano section on the last line uh, and then the final thing i wanted to say about this one uh, almost the final thing um make sure at that that end bit you get the writ in there remember writ short for written muto ritardando they both both effectively mean slow down so you can re really kind of mellow out at the end and just make the music take a bow. Sorry. That should have been a bit quieter. That's meant to be piano, so that's a bit, bit, I'd say that was pretty an MF. Um, and I love the cheeky at the end, but I wouldn't do that on your on your great performance. Um, although, to be honest, at, the, at this time in music, performers used to improvise over what they were playing a lot anyway, so like, yeah, I suppose you could, but I wouldn't best avoid it. If you're going to add anything in, add a, you know, you'd want to add a cheeky ornament, something like so. Something like that, but we'll, I'll show you that, that stuff next time. I, would, I wouldn't bother for, for the great list. No need. They certainly wouldn't be expecting you to add your own ornaments in it. Um, but I, I mean, really, really good. So the stuff I've just gone through today is really all that's left to do. Do. If you can do that stuff, sort out that tempo bit in the middle and get the dynamics injected in, it's there. It's